In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a simple minor lick like this one and superimpose it, transforming it into this amazing sound over a minor 251. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you something. If you enjoy this video today, please give me a thumbs up. So the concept of superimposing a melodic fragment over different kinds of harmony is an amazingly powerful tool for improvisers to develop. So here again is the lick. This references the classic Crimea River. It is made up of just four notes of the minor scale, the ninth, the root, the fifth, and the minor third. So here the line starts on the ninth of the G minor chord. By the way, do not be worried if you cannot digest all of the theory straight away in this video, because there is quite a lot, and also there is a PDF to download. This melody has such a great melodic structure, it sounds awesome over other chords. For instance, it sounds amazing over an F sharp 7. Now the notes relating to the F sharp 7 are the sharp 9, the flat 9, augmented 5th, major 3rd, sharp 9th and flattened 9th. The line starts on the sharpened 9th of the dominant chord, as A is the sharpened 9th of F sharp 7. By the way, remember this for later, that over the dominant chord, the line starts on the sharper ninth. As well, these notes sound amazing over E minor 7 flat 5. Now let's look at the function of these notes in relation to the E minor 7 flat 5. We get the 11th or the 4th, minor 3rd, minor 7th, flattened 5th, and the 4th to the minor 3rd. So on this minor 7 flat 5, this melodic structure starts on the 11th or the 4th. Remember this for later, please. Now stay with me as we're going to superimpose this melodic structure over a minor 251 in G minor. A minor 7 flat 5, D7 to G minor, which we will follow by E minor 7 flat 5 as it adds some nice movement to the progression. On the A minor 7 flat 5, we are going to start the Cry Me a River lick on the 4th or the 11th. In order to be able to do this, we need two things. One, to know what the 11th or the 4th of A minor 7 flat 5 is. And two, to be able to play the Crimea River lick starting on different degrees. Okay, so task one, what is the 4th or the 11th of A minor 7 flat 5? Counting up the scale, four notes are 11, we get D. Now, task two. We need to be able to construct and play the Cry Me A River lick, starting on D. The original melody starts on the ninth of the minor. Now, we need to do some detective work. What minor chord has D as the ninth or second? Did you get it? D then is the second of C minor or the ninth of C minor. Here then is the Cry Me a River lick starting on D. And now that same lick starting on D over the A minor 7 flat 5 chord.
Now let's look at the 5 7 chord in G minor, which is a D7. Do you remember that we said we could start the lick on the sharper ninth of the dominant chord? So, what is the sharper ninth of D7? The ninth is like the second, the sharpened second, E sharp. E sharp is also known as F. So what is the minor chord that has F as the ninth or second? Yes, it's E flat minor. Here then is the Crimea River lick starting on F, sounding over E flat minor. And here is the Crimea River lick starting on E sharp or F played over D7. Great sound, I would say. So we get sharp 9, flat 9, augmented 5th, major 3rd, sharp 9 and flat 9. On the tonic G minor chord, we can play the Crimea River lick starting on the ninth of the G minor. As well, this same group of notes fits over E minor 7, flat 5. As A is the fourth or eleventh of E minor 7, flat 5. OK, now let's listen to the Crimea River lick over the four chords, played a little squarely. This process may seem overly intellectual. However, after you've been practicing the sounds for a while, you will become used to them and be able to use them naturally. Here now is the Crimea River line in reverse played over the minor 251. To finish, here are a couple more lines based on the Crimea River lick superimposed of the minor 2 5. The next example starts on the fifth of the minor melodic structure we saw. Now the line starts on the third of the minor melodic structure we saw. Now let's hear what I call sweeping lines. So we're going to sweep over the melodic structure. Now let's have some fun with some triplet examples. To finish, another triplet example starting on the ninth of the melodic structure. 